irritability, dreading to go to work, and a lack of energy. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you might have burnout. The World Health Organization now recognizes work-related burnout as an occupational phenomenon. Sarah Costa spoke with a psychologist at UT Health San Antonio. She helps us understand the symptoms and the possible remedies. Burnout, it's a real thing. So much so, the World Health Organization, WHO, has recognized it as something that people should get help for. WHO says burnout is the feeling of being overwhelmed, emotionally drained, and unable to meet constant work demands. A clinical psychologist with UT Health San Antonio says some of the symptoms include irritability, sadness, being energy zapped, or feeling major dread before going to work. She says you can feel these things during deadlines, major projects, or busy work seasons. But even during times where it's not as stressful and you're still really feeling those same symptoms and it's been prolonged for months, that's when I probably check into that. She says treatment is different for everyone. It could be you need to exercise more, eat healthier, get the right amount of sleep, or maybe even see a therapist. The good news is she says these are quick, easy treatments that don't need to be long term if you don't put off treating your symptoms. She says the most important thing you can be is self-aware. We're all human. We're not meant to be uh, robots and that we all have kind of our breaking point. So it's recognizing that and that it's OK to take a break. And if you put off taking care of yourself, especially for months at a time, she says it can result in a serious condition, clinical depression. In the most severe cases, suicide. We want to make sure that people are taken care of so it doesn't turn into something that can really be debilitating for someone's life. Sarah Costa joining us now in the newsroom. I think this is something everybody has dealt with, no matter what you do for a living. So what are some of the other maybe smaller ways you can take steps to avoid this? Well, Myra, it's important to take breaks throughout the workday. Like it's okay to step away from your desk. It's also really important to set boundaries. You need you time and family time. So you don't have to answer those work calls, text and emails immediately. You can answer them during the work day. If you get them over the weekend, it's okay to respond that following work Monday. Sometimes you got to say no, right? Just like Oprah says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sarah.